then one more problem that you have to understand with hyperparathyroidism is a problem of calciphylaxis. Calciphylaxis. What do you mean by calciphylaxis? The calciphylaxis term refers to uremic, uremic, calcific, uremic, calcific arteriopathy. So, uremic calcific arteriopathy. What is the basic concept of this uremic calcific arteriopathy? This is very simple and straightforward. Answer is it is dissemination of calcium or you can say disseminated calcification in the vascular system and associated with the skin necrosis. So, what happens? There are a lot of factors helping this calcific deposition into the vascular system which ultimately results in painful gangrenous lesion and ultimately that is superseded by sepsis and hence mortality is very high. So, let us talk about what is calciphylaxis. This is generally a feature associated with secondary hyperparathyroidism. So, associated with secondary hyperparathyroidism. What is calciphylaxis? What is calciphylaxis? This is disseminated, disseminated calcification, disseminated calcification, calcification resulting in, resulting in, yes, blockage of, blockage of vessels with skin necrosis with skin necrosis. Now, if you talk about the sites, where is it commonly seen? It is commonly seen over the lower extremities and also over the lower abdomen. So, sites. If you talk about the sites, it is extremities, extremities and lower abdomen, lower abdomen. If you talk about the features, features, the standard feature is painful calcific deposition, painful calcific deposition resulting in generalized gangrene of the overlying skin. So, painful necrotic, necrotic ulcerations, ulcerations and why these ulceration happens? Because of the ischemia. Why this happens? Because of the ischemia. So, there is ischemic necrosis, necrosis of the skin. So, painful necrotic ulceration and all these things are because of the ischemic necrosis. Now, what is the cause behind this? Everything has a cause, yes. So, what is the cause behind this? Answer is, in patients who are having CRF induced uremia, in the patients who have CRF induced uremia, there is decrease in calcification inhibitor factor. Calcification calcification inhibitor factor. Now, this calcification inhibitor factor is decreased and therefore, there is generalized dissemination of calcium deposit and hence calcification. There is also decrease in this, there is decrease in alpha 2 HS glycoprotein, HS glycoprotein, yes, it is also known as Herriman's schmidt. So, alpha 2 HS glycoprotein, if there is deficiency, it will again promote the calcification. So, these two are important reasons for calcification. And then the result is, the end result is, because of this ischemic necrosis, there is a superseded risk of sepsis and hence the mortality. Do you know, mortality is very high and what is the management? The management is early early total parathyroidectomy so that you control this scenario which is going on. It has been seen that early parathyroidectomy reduces, reduces the incidence of amputations, reduces the incidence of amputations. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from PrepLadder.